Hello, my name is Chase Murphy, a senior consultant here at ProValTech, and today I wanted to quickly go over how to approve patches in ConnectWise RMM. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, so sometimes when you're on a device, you might see patches that are showing as missing, but are still under review from the NOC and have not received an approval setting yet. Um, right now we are at the beginning of April. We are one week past Patch Tuesday, uh, so ideally the NOC team will be approving this patch today. However, if they do not and you want to push it before the NOC approves it, you can go and get that patch approved. Uh, this all happens on the Patch Approvals screen. So if you open up your sidebar, go to OS Patching and Patch Approvals, which I've already done on a separate tab up here, that will open up here. And then you can filter out the data that you're looking for. Typically, ProVal will come in and say, show me the status is new on patches. And I'm going to search specifically for the KB that we want to look for and approve. So we'll search for it, paste in the KB ID. We can find the KB right here. We can mark the uh, checkbox and then approve the patch. And then that patch will be allowed to push out to most of your partners, uh, so long as they have a patching policy. One thing to keep in mind is on your patching policies, if the policy is set for deploy only NOC approved patches instead of partner and NOC approved patches, that patch still might not roll out to your partners. Uh, so please exercise caution and double check that value after you do the approve to make sure what your settings are for your policies and packages. Uh, but that is an easy way to get patches approved should you want to do them before the NOC gets them approved. Uh, also generally just keep in mind that the NOC will only approve security or critical patches and the other patch will still be the responsibility of the MSP to approve. Uh, so you should become familiar with this screen and how to leverage it and how to use the filters to look for patches that are not set so you can go ahead and get those configured in your environment. Uh, please check back again next week for another video that might help you navigate the RMM tools out in the universe. Thank you.